40 things you most likely don't know in CSGO, starting with every jumping makes noise, even some legends of the game don't know that those kinda silent chumps are sending out little audio cues as well. Why would you turn it on? Of course, we boost the sound for illustration purposes, reality is a bit quieter but still audible, especially if you are close to the jumper. If you crouch in this corner on vertigo, aim like shown and a left click throw, you get this cool molotov that don't affect ramp at all but will nicely distract a short boost area over here. Players and spectators visuals can have a little mismatch, that's why you might sometimes be surprised how they didn't spot enemies, plus that's why it's important to be an active spectator and call out stuff yourself as well, because for your teammates it might have been impossible to see someone. You can literally lock some doors with decoys, then the only way for enemies to open them within those 15 seconds is to destroy the door. Obviously mainstream way to do it is with a grenade, but you can also destroy already broken doors with a Zeus, which could come handy if you don't want to go with squeak sound. And just so you know, it takes 3 Zeus hits to destroy a completely untouched door. Don't hide behind overpass short sandbags, as if people from B know how to kill it, they will see you first. Because of CSGO's amazing mechanics, it's impossible to double headshot someone at certain angles. Used Zeus and not used Zeus look identical on the ground and the used one won't disappear in 15 seconds like used magazine does. In fact, you can still move and use Zeus and it stays in the game till the end of a current round. When you die, the one grenade you drop down is not random, it's the lastly equipped grenade, aka the last grenade you held in your hands, and if you haven't touched any of them, it always drops the most valuable piece of utility you have in your inventory, smoke over AG though. This Mirage minivan wall is very underrated, you can simply bounce your nades both ways to get perfect around the corner results. Simple has used this simple smoke to help him to get through the vent when retaking a phenomenal stuff. You probably never knew about this Valorant reference in CSGO, at least I didn't. If Palace is smoked and you molotov the underwood box, Molly still deals damage even when someone stands kinda mid smoke, wow wow wee wow. By the way, you take the exact same molotov damage, doesn't matter if you have bought the armor or not. There is a chance to die in the very very end of the round, so your weapon and some equipment drops into a next round, super general. In the buy menu, you just need to spin your character in order to see your stickers on the gun, they are not gone. Next up, by hugging this wall and making sure your position coordinates start with minus 511, you can spice up your Xbox smoke game, aim at this mark on the window and a jump throw, it should give you a nice white Xbox smoke, this one covers you better from lower tons and also leaves this sneaky gap for you to potentially punish all the door boys, something different, potentially nasty stuff. If you are a city side upper at inferno top middle, you can wall bank through this door to catch people on T ramp. When you shoot at the barrels, they actually leak, seems like source 2 is already here. Alrighty, a very overpowered position and overpass, that's because most of the players use right handed view model, so their weapon actually covers this position amazingly well when they are clearing connector, useful to know. Position yourself on the edge of this railing, aim like shown plus a right click throw to bug molotov bridge like it's nothing, probably the most useful in after plant situations, but mainly just an extraordinary show of idea. You can open and close vent on nuke with your use key, but you most likely didn't know that you can do that through the vent wall as well, in some cases you could trick that you're in the vents playing with them, but you're actually just next to the vent. Make sure that you're correctly facing the wall though, otherwise your body parts could be visible through the vent. Team Astralis might be smurfing as they have a clear silver 4 reference on their shoulders. Technically, you can move all the grenades with doors before they pop, and of course it makes sense since you can even use doors to move the bomba. Come get up. Picking up a gun or other stuff is fully silent if you're sneaking. When running, then you get this little pickup sound. But there's also a chance that if you accelerate just before picking something up, you make the pickup sound but not a step sound if you manage to stop in time. It's very unlikely to happen though. 
One of the stickers Valve accepted into CSGO's 10-year birthday capsule was Conspiracy Club slash Source 2 Club sticker which if you scratch it leaves a small text never. Is it real or is it just a bait? Decision is yours and comment section waits for it. Although CSGO is a competitive shooter, apparently the hitboxes can differ. In fact, the difference between SAS and professionals players head model hitboxes is around 17%, which is crazy to think about. Oh Huge credits to Anzimist for pointing it out. I hope by the time this video comes out, it's already changed. Alrighty, if you throw your Molotov in this door corner, it will not spread into the doorway and you could pick out Top Gun, potentially surprising people who don't expect other players to run through the fire. Simple as that. You can and totally should break objects to mask your teammates' jumps or rushes. Good examples come from Vertigo. When destroying the ceiling class with the right timing, you can mask your teammates' running sounds a bit. And on Inferno second middle, you have 5 tries to mask your mate's balcony jump. At Tuscan's T-Spawn, if you closely look at the menu here, you can spot some top-notch CSGO people slash content creators. At least a couple of good ones are missing though. Next up, an uncommon 3-man tower on Vertigo that's actually fairly effective when retaking B-bomb site. You can nicely see the whole site and I like that those concrete mix bags on the ground let the bottom guy to always stand up as two upper guys can easily get on top of them. Now go enjoy your future free frags. If a smoke grenade pops at the higher place from below, you can see if anyone is hiding in the middle of it, as smokes seem to have a little bit of air inside them. And here are some of the game elements that just don't fit with smokes that well, giving a great advantage to those 200 IQ guys who know those tricks. Once again guys, dead bodies are client sided, which means it's not a good idea to use them as a cover because for your enemy, the same dead body might be in a completely different place, watch out. The top silver rank, silver relit master players are playing the most matches in a month, 16.2 on average. By the way, global elites and gold nova ones put the same monthly hours into the game. What differs is the level, time is money, money we spend it. Alrighty, an uncommon trick from Monacy stream. If you jump in this very corner on upper wood, it sounds like you drop down to the bomb site and you could potentially surprise Pally guys huh? who now think no one can be close. Surely at least 568 IQ play. Different grenades make different bouncing sound, so make sure to not to turn your head for every grenade bounce you hear. Just the flashbang, wink wink. Just so you know, deagle headshots won't always equal a kill. If the distance gets lengthy, the damage gets unstrengthy. Next up, ground nades do slightly less damage than the ones exploding in the air, more body slash head height. It's of course when the general grenade positioning is around the same. You surely didn't know that on nuke, there is a chance to throw utility through the windows into a bomb site without breaking the glass, a true Chris Angel type of move. Now open up a console, write status, get your user ID and then call vote kick your user ID to try to vote kick yourself out of a game 2022 and it still works. Silent drop downs with a wall bug is a thing at too many places, there are lineups for some of those and they are already spread out in my other videos, go browse. A legend says that Navi's coach Blade has been using a numbered callout system for years for now, so players in one of the best teams in CSGO won't say they go to short on Inferno, they would say they go to 7 and for long they say either 5 or 15. The main reason why they use this type of system is that it's quicker, although in the heat of the moment it feels like it could be way more confusing, but we can straight up try it out, 5U85CR183 to the channel and bye.